Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny video and today I'm going to give you guys my recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the 16th of May 2017. But before we get into the video, if you guys want to be with a chance of winning my weekly Destiny 2 beta code uh, giveaway or a Resurrectionist Emblem giveaway, simply drop a comment and a like on the video. Winner is picked every Sunday, um, so check your YouTube DMs every Sunday. So getting straight into it, I'm going to start with the Crucible Quartermaster. And to be honest, there's nothing... Well, okay, there's one thing that's pretty amazing, but other than that, there's nothing that great right here. Um, none of these weapons, in my opinion, okay, the hero formula is okay, um, but then again, the weapon, even with a perfect roll, in my opinion, isn't that great. On it, we've got a Zen Moment or a Mulligan, we've got Brace Frame or Explosive Rounds and Firefly. I'd probably say, if anything, uh, Mulligan, Explosive Rounds and Firefly for a PvE roll, but I'm not, I'm not feeling this um, Scout Rifle at all. So in my opinion, I wouldn't waste your marks on it. Um, the Palindrome this week, we've got on it Triple Tap, um, Reinforced and Hidden Hand. Definitely not the best roll, 100%. Um, so again, in my opinion, save your marks. Uh, what weapon here is great though, is this right here, the Event Horizon. Okay, so on this we've got Hidden Hand, we've got Quick Draw or Snapshot, and we've got Army of One or Life Support, but we've also got Short Gaze. So yes, definitely worth your time picking up if you are in need of a decent sniper rifle. High impact as well, so yeah. Great, great weapon. Um, the sidearm as well isn't too bad, but that's if you're into sidearms. I'm slowly getting used to them. I think we've got Outlaw, we've got High Calibre Rounds, and we've got Hot Swap. But yeah, other than that, guys, um, nothing else of that great right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to skip to Vanguard and see if they have anything to offer for you guys. Okay guys, so we are at the Vanguard and there is a couple of decent weapons right here. Now if you guys have been paying attention to my, uh, the wider gameplay running in the background of my videos over the, over the past couple of weeks, you will see I'm using an auto rifle and it is this thing right here. Now this weapon right here has that very same role I use on mine, which in my opinion is an amazing role. We've got an counterbalance, we've got a pending magazine and we also have rodeo. So we've got two stability perks. Uh, which is what this thing needs and we also have a pended magazine now my actual one's got three stability perks uh, It's got one here. I'm not sure what it is, but I actually go for a pended magazine here So I'll get like 40 odd bullets in my mag because with counterbalance and rodeo You ain't really fighting that much with the stability to control it So yeah, this is in my opinion if you're after a decent auto rifle, this is definitely worth your time picking up Um. The sniper rifle this week here at the Vanguard, the 7th Cent, isn't too bad either. On this we've got the short gaze sight, we've got mulligan or grenadier, we've got quick draw or casket mag, and we've got hidden hand. But in my honest opinion guys, if I was going to get a sniper rifle, I'd probably get the crucible one. But yeah, you never know, this may suit you even from, it just may suit you more. It's a high rate of fire, low impact one, so yeah, who knows? It's all down to you and what you want, your personal preference. Um, the Angel's Advocate as well, a weapon I reviewed about a week and a half ago. The the role this week isn't too bad either. On it, we've got Outlaw, we've got Perfect Balance or Hammer Forge, and we have Reactive Reload. So Reactive Reload paired with, say, Outlaw. Damn, this thing will pack a punch. It really will. So yeah, if you're after a decent scout, um, this is actually one. It reminded me a lot of the Mida Multi Tool. So yeah, it's it's completely up to you. What I'll do, guys, is I will link my actual weapon review of this weapon in that video description. So you can check that out if you're not sure about this weapon. So yeah, do that if you want to. Um, was there anything else? I don't think there was anything else right here. Um... Yeah, I don't think there was, to be honest. I mean, the Teacup Tempest ain't too bad, but then again, the Crucible one's got a better roll on it this week. I think that was it. Yes, it was. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to skip to Dead Orbit, and I'll zoom the video when I get there. Okay, so Dead Orbit this week hasn't got much to offer. Um, the Sniper Rifle this week, I mean, snipers across the board around the tower this week are pretty good, to be honest. Again, on this we've got short gauge, we've got lightweight or armor, uh, high caliber rounds, not armor piercing, sorry. We've got hammer forged or mulligan, and we also have unflinching, so yeah, not too bad. But again, it is a low impact, high rate of fire uh, sniper. 
so it's completely up to you what you prefer. Um, the fusion rifle as well. I mean, I ain't a fusion rifle kind of guy, but I'm. This is okay. I think we've got enhanced battery. We've got snapshot. We've got small bore, spray and play, and we've also got range finder. So yeah, if uh, you're a fusion rifle type of person, you'd probably enjoy that weapon. But other than that, guys, there's nothing else that great right here. The keystone needs stability, and this week it does not have stability. But when this thing does get, uh, well, more stability than what small bore offers. But when this thing does get stability. I would definitely be picking it up because I picked it up about two or three weeks back and it just lacks stability because it bounced pretty violently but yeah so dead orbit this week isn't that great so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to go to future war court and see what they have to offer okay so future war court as well this week I've got one or two things that may take your interest um in my opinion, the wounded, I mean, I've seen this a lot in PvP, and I mean, it just tears your face off. Um, and this would be pretty good as well. We've got crowd control, perfect balance or triple attack with high caliber rounds. Now, this will pack a punch within PvP. I mean, the one I picked up last week was half decent. I may, I may, depends how I feel, grab this as well. Just because high caliber rounds, perfect balance or snap, uh, triple attack, sorry, and crowd control. This could be quite decent, it really could. Now the Wormwood this week as well. Um, if you're into sidearms, it isn't too bad. We have on this, we have High Calibre. We have on it Fit Stuck or Relentless Tracker with Hidden Hand. We also have True Sight as well. So yes, not too bad whatsoever. We all know the Wormwood is a monster within PvP. It seriously is. Now another weapon this week is the whale now this is one of my favorite hand cannons in the game and it's super super underrated the problem is it doesn't have any decent range perks uh, but we do have on its small ball which also lowers magazine size down to six on it we also have luck in the chamber we have explosive rounds and lightweight now it isn't a great role in my opinion but i will tell you guys to watch out for this in the future when it does come with a perfect role Definitely, definitely pick it up and try it out. Things an absolute beast. And that is it for future walkouts. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to skip to New Monarchy and see what they have. Okay, so New Monarchy this week as well. Not the best. Um, hasn't been the best week, to be honest. Uh, so, one weapon is in the Impucha 5. Not too bad of a sidearm. And this week we have an range finder. Hand loaded or relentless tracker or uh, and high caliber rounds and or snapshot. We have a steady hand, sure shot and quick draw. So this could be quite decent in the right hands. The Impreacher 5. Um, sniper as well this week. Uh, the D position 7. On it we have the ambush scope, we have on it snapshot or explosive rounds, hammer forge or triple attack with hidden hand. So again, quite a decent role for a sniper rifle. All depends on what you like. I mean, literally every vendor across the board this week has had a decent sniper. Still, in my opinion, I will go with the event Horizon from Crucible, but it's it's completely up to you and what you prefer and what you want from a sniper rifle. But other than that, guys, that is it. Um, there's nothing else, in my opinion, worth you even wasting your mark well even thinking about wasting your marks on I'm not gonna lie to you guys so yes guys that is it for another video hope you enjoyed it um, remember to leave a like and drop a comment down below to be with a chance of winning my weekly destined to better called giveaway or my resurrections emblem giveaway winner will be picked on a sunday and we'll have the choice of one of the to subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when i upload and i will as always guys see you on that next one